How it feels to chew five gum. Uh, welcome back to NART. That was the best I could come up with on short notice. Yeah, we, we have, like, stage fright. Yeah, Which is why there's no face cam. Yeah, also right? because we're hideous, <clears throat> deformed monsters. Yes, we are. We're, we're not really human. <laughs> we're, we just we just like to think that we are. <laughs> we're orcs. <laughs> we're orcs. We are orcs who pretend to be human. Is, oh, isn't that familiar? This is Plerp. I'm Steve. <laughs> Steve the orc. Steve the orc. Plerp human. God, that is That's... such a beyond an inside joke that makes no sense for a let's play. Hey, man, you want to explain it? Uh, sure. Okay, here we go. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> keeping with our lack of lives and love of all things unnecessarily nerdy, uh, we recently got into Pathfinder, uh, which is a free offshoot version of D&D. Or at least free in that you can find all the rules and assets online, so you can kind of cheese it. Mm -hmm. um, which, keep a lookout, because I'm writing a whole long campaign, and eventually we're going to have, like, a thousand fucking videos of Pathfinder of us playing a thousand-hour campaign. It's going to be dope. Yeah, I'm writing the whole thing myself. I'm designing every encounter. It's got some <clears throat> custom rules, some custom, like, uh, class stuff. It's going to be real fun. The current campaign we're doing, though, is just a slapshot campaign thrown together by a cartoon turtle. <laughs> because, God, I love using John's, like, user handle. He, Great. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta give the fat bastard credit. It's a, real good. A cartoon turtle. What a, what a wonderful writer. Yeah. He isn't. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> he's okay. He's fat. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes he is. <laughs> hey John, when you hear this, uh, just know you're fat. Uh, we just wanted to make sure you knew that. Yeah, just so there's no confusion, John, you're fat. <laughs> um, <laughs> I should really leave it alone. That's fat. So, <laughs> <laughs> anywho, back to back, back to, to the thing. Yeah. So, uh, the man on the sticks right now um, in the campaign plays an orc named Plerp who wants to be human, because he was orphaned, like left as an orphan by his uh, orc family, and then adopted by humans, and raised as human, and yes. wears constant white face makeup to try and pass as human, but still has <clears throat> tusks and is not good at makeup. And in addition to this... <laughs> ah, shit. Um, okay. In addition to this, he has in red block letters on his forehead... To accentuate against his green skin, the words "I am not an orc," hmm. <laughs> and he 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 is a performer. He likes to uh, you know travel around various places with his accordion and his Jews harp. Is it Jews or just Jew harp? I actually don't remember. If there's an apostrophe <laughs> it's, s there. It's it, it's I don't think it's an apostrophe s. I think it's just an s. So it's just a Jews harp. Oh. And what an automaton. That's what it is. The awful like you press instrument. <laughs> it's like uh it's like a lap steel guitar but Worse. like stupid. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and yes. <laughs> human. We are P T human. <laughs> And that's that's our those the, are those are tea, our real backstories by the, the way. The T stands for the. <laughs> <laughs> plurp, plurp the human. Yeah, plurp T human. <laughs> you have two middle names, like Ian. Does Ian have two middle names? Ian does have two middle names. What are his middle names? Uh, Kenyon. K okay. K e n y o n. It's okay. like Is his it... mother's maiden name or something. Oh, okay. I just gave away his bank information and his mother's middle name. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ian's routing number is... Uh, <laughs> or you can just visit him at blank, 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 blank town. Up oh, New Jersey, it's, it's it's specific enough. <laughs> yeah. There's one Ian in New Jersey. Ian's address in the description below. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not actually putting his description. Don't, yeah. don't get too excited. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> please uh, DM for Ian's social security number. Uh, <laughs> He's he's okay with it. We we already asked him. Yeah, he was he was drunk, but it's it's fine. No killing. It's fine. He so, consented. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> he said yes to something. It's fine. Um, <laughs> I forget where I was going. Oh yeah, so his middle name is Kenyon, which is uh like his mother's maiden name, and it was like a famous British name or something. Okay. Like they were very early pioneers or some shit. Okay. So it's like a, a traditional something or other, and then his other middle name is Cole. Ah, oh, okay. Colinian. Yeah. Oh, if you could make colon out of his middle names. Yeah. His middle name is a colon. It does sit in the middle of two things, so... <laughs> yes, you are correct. We should do a story mission. Yeah, let's do Stop that. Stop running around <laughs> breaking things while I rant. Breaking, stop, break. Is that actually a... Isn't that a song by Limp Biscuit? Probably. Or as the JoJo's fandom knows, <laughs> Flaccid Pancake. <laughs> it's... That's horrible. It's awful. It's also very sexy. Oh, yeah, yeah, that too. I mean, clearly. I had flaccid pancakes this morning, because I used too much syrup. No such thing as too much syrup. When it turns when it turns the pancake into a paste, <laughs> no such thing. Like I could chug syrup and I'd be perfectly fine with it, man. I'm probably gonna have diabetes one day. I was gonna say one you, day, like you, this upcoming year. You Canadian diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, dude, new band name. <laughs> Canadian diabetic. Yeah, I, I'd listen to the Canadian diabetics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, yeah, that's that's quite a wonderful little. A little listen, group that we have I'd here. I've listened to the shit out of them. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> strictly, right. strictly Canadian. All right, here. A, yeah, no, the Canadian Diabetics uh, <laughs> are a Mexican band <laughs> that Mexican does covers band. of the Sex Pistols. <laughs> what, of, like, are, are we talking like mariachi band covers? Yes. I would the listen. Canadian Diabetics are a mariachi band that does covers of the Sex Pistols. I would absolutely listen to mariachi covers of the Sex Pistols. Oh my god. Yeah, that sounds... Dude, you're selling me on this the that's, more you talk about that's it. That's almost as good as the band John and I wanted to start, where we just do Gregorian chanting covers of Ronnie James Dio songs. <laughs> well, what is the name of this band? I don't know. <laughs> we never got that far. We couldn't figure out how to Gregorian chant. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I'm sure that sounded lovely. I'm not sorry. Okay, maybe I'm a little bit sorry. <clears throat> Alright, so here, here you go, buddy. Yeah, let so, me. What the, what, okay. Yeah, you can play for like the second time today. Alright, so Made in Abyss is dope. I'm going to make you watch okay, Made in Abyss Otaku later. Otaku show. Back, Otaku, to the Otaku back to the show. Otaku show. Back to our namesake. That's really unpleasant to say. Yeah. Otaku show. I don't understand what I want. Oh, yeah, the, the. Okay, so, Made in Abyss. You guys should watch it, it's dope. Um, it <clears throat> It's a chibi adventure-looking anime with, like, the world... The world looks like the world of a Hayao Miyazaki film. And if if anything, it's I... Pretty if, neat. It's pretty neat, right? It's pretty neat. Yeah, and... Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, what button do I gotta go? There you go, mission list. There you go, buddy. You can do it. Um, so, anyway, it's... It's, it's kind of similar to One Piece in that it is, so far, entirely about the journey. And it's really cool for that. Uh, but in addition, I don't know. <clears throat> it's very good at showing... Uh, at showing that it's a dangerous show. Dangerous shit can happen to their uh, main characters. A lot of people die. Uh, the main character very nearly dies. Like, at... At least once so far. Like, she was on the cusp of death. Spoilers, I guess. Not really much of a spoiler. I'm not going to tell you what happens there, but it's some, it's some fucked shit. But, yeah, you all should watch it. It's awesome. You going to play, buddy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're playing this game. I forgot there's a thing between the load screens. <laughs> I forgot there's a game that we could be playing. Oh, is this a... Oh. Yeah, cutscenes. Cutscenes for, I believe, the boss? Fight? Yes. There you go. Yeah, I'm about to fight, uh... Shukaku? Shitcakes, yeah. <laughs> shitcakes. <laughs> some sandy shitcakes. You're about to fight a Tanuki. You're about to see some, uh... Giant testicles. Yeah, apparently Tanuki have... 
enormous balls mm -hmm. that they like wear slung over their backs and on their shoulder. Yeah, right. It's like <laughs> you know, you see, you see that gourd that's on Gara's back. That's his yeah, scrotum. They, exactly. They he drew inspiration from a real tanuki. And with just that. balls. Oh yeah, man. It's wonderful. Isn't one like larger than the other? Should we get Gara checked out, man? Like. <laughs> Back before uh, the writer of the show figured out what the demons were going to look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Because, like, Shukaku and uh, Kurama look. Pr they look pretty normal. No, they. Realistically. I mean, to like, a okay, point. Shuka Shukaku looks kind of dumb. But at least it's not like the five tailed dolphin horse. The fucking seven-tailed bug looks straight. Yeah, like one, two, and four don't look all that strange. No, they don't. Even so, I don't think seven looks that weird. But like six, five, and Three. eight. The eight-tailed octopus. <laughs> yeah, three was the. <laughs> three. What was? What was? Three, three was the weird turtle-looking fucker. Oh yeah. With the weird eyes and shit. Yeah, the emo turtle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah three was the emo my turtle. My chemical turtle. Was, yeah. My <laughs> Another band I'd listen to. I think six is the most unsettling looking one. Just a six tailed giant slug. Yeah. There's, there's Looks no. Looks like that, that time I didn't jerk off for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like him too. <laughs> did, did it fall off? No, but it was talking to me afterward. <laughs> Hello, my child. My sentient jizz pile. <laughs> Classy. Oh, so that's how John was born. <laughs> I could never come that much. Oh, <laughs> Over time. Nice. He's, you've been you've been fathering him since he was since he was since you were thirteen. Even though, what is he like? <laughs> your your sentient jizz pile is old enough to drink. It's got to get by somehow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, has, it has to have a reminder. Not a reminder. It has to have something to take the edge off so that he doesn't always remember that he is just a jizz pile brought to life. Uh, similarly, John is into edging. Why? Who? Who is into edging? John. Wait, does, it, does he edge you? No, he does it to himself. Mostly because oh, so he, he's... So he makes you make him edge. No, I think uh, him and half of the sandwich came up with that. Oh. So so hold on. <laughs> are, are we talking? Are we talking about edge, blah, 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 edging in the the form of masturbating, or is he just into like posting edgy shit on his social media? No, I mean edging <laughs> as in masturbating, but not letting yourself finish. Yeah, this is some really personal shit that we're putting out there about John. I'm also lying. I know what John's fetish is, and it's very short Latina women. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is a tall man, I, I guess. Eh. Most can say that. It's acceptable. Yeah, it's not... I'm not gonna out... It's not uh, that weird. Yeah. What? I, I didn't know you could get caught by that. Huh. Yeah. Well, you know... Yeah, it'd be nice if you could, like, do the shuriken mode in this. Well, well, maybe not a little bit nice. <laughs> Dude, are you gonna... Are you good? I don't know how to dodge that one. Jump! Just when you see him put his arm up, just jump away. I tried that. Try it harder. See, there you go. You did it. You know, it's... Why? Why would you just punch and then leave your arm there? Like, what the hell do you think's gonna happen, man? He's real tired. Yeah, right? He's sluggish. Look at how much sand he has to move around to exert, like, any movement. X. There are not a lot of games that can pull off quick time events well. I know. This is a good one. <laughs> yeah, it like this it, game. This game series does well with that. Oh yeah, it does. It's like it's like half of the. It's like the best mini game of it. Yeah. Like the quick time events in this are good. It doesn't feel jarring when they come up. No. I just feel in the boss fights. It just feels like this is the way things are supposed to go. Like it just fucking works. Yeah. Punch you. It's it's the only foreseeable way like I could come up with or that they could come up with to make uh 
the boss fight part of this... Different? Well, feel like... It has more Interactive. Okay, yeah, yeah, that too. Because, like, there's a lot of this stuff that's super cinematic. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. It just knocked me down. It didn't do much damage. Don't do it again. Yeah, like... <laughs> Because it could just be like you hit him and then it goes to a cutscene. But it lets the weirder... Like that time I jumped, it uh -oh. made me jump into it. Uh-oh. Well, you, you pretty much got him down then. You're good. Cool. Um, yeah, no, I, I agree with you. It just feels... It feels like you're actually doing it and it's He's not a not story being told be awake. you. No, you punched him and he woke up, that's why. Okay, I thought he was supposed to be asleep the whole time and waking him up is what knocks him the fuck out of it. Ah, like in, no. in the original. No, in the original, I think it's kind of reversed. Because, like, he is asleep for a lot of it, and then you punch. Or no. Oh, right. no, and he then goes, he goes to sleep. Yeah. yeah, no, you. His go to sleep jutsu. Which, what, I didn't understand. which is what gives. Uh, let Shukaku wake up in the first place. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Which is kind of cool. He's, he's unique in that, like. Gara had insomnia because of him. I thought that was really cool. Well, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier about the, like, they didn't have a decision on how the demons were going to work. Because mm -hmm. mechanically, that's not how anyone else's connection to their, uh, uh, fucking tailed beast goes. Oh, yeah, I know. Kishimoto kind of... Changed his mind halfway through. <clears throat> yeah, just like with Sakura. Skidoosh. Sk Head, but that's a whole lot of sand, man. Now, how would that whole surrounding area not be destroyed at this point, man? Totally is. Yes. Which, that's one of my favorite things about Gara's powers, because I'm going to talk about the game instead of otakuing. Oh, that's like, a shock. Like, that, that's one thing I always found really interesting. Uh, and I don't remember if they show it later in original series or if it's in Shippuden, but the thing where he sends his sand underground to break up rocks to make more sand to give him more Yeah, yeah, they ammo. showed that. Yeah, I think that was in the fight against, uh, Kimimaru. And I don't think they ever showed it aside from that, but yeah, they... they like that's a, didn't they show him doing that in the war at some point? They might have? I'm not entirely sure, though. Like, against his uh, reincarnated dad? Against daddy? Yeah. No, I think I was... I don't know. I don't think so, because they were in a, they were in a desert. Yeah. He, he wouldn't have really needed to. I'm testing the mic. <laughs> I'm testicle mic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, testicle Mike. That's that's what Shukaku's name really is. <laughs> testicle Mike. <laughs> testicle Mike. All right. Well, that, that's his canon name. That cutscene ran long, but this has been Steven Plerp. <laughs> uh.